trade is war room. What you won't do when the trade is war room. What you won't do when the trade is war what is up team Chuck with Traders War Room and I'm back at you with another video and this is your tech video and guys I like to come out and do these tech videos uh, today's topic is going to be on pivot trading and I want to put a disclaimer out man these are not all inclusive okay there's many ways to skin this cat but this is just information I want to provoke thought provoking content so that you can think oh man I've heard of this, this is what it is, and go out and do your own research. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the tech video, and I hope you find some worth of value out of it. And as always, if you're ready, follow me, and let's go to war together, church war room. Let's get it right now. Other dudes, we better than. I was down, and then I learned about leveraging. And after that, I ain't never went red again. Green, right? It ain't bad. It just seemed like oh, something wrong with you if you say we ain't tight. Get in and get out. All right, so what is a pivot? Well, a pivot is a significant price level known in advance, which traders use as an important level to make trading decisions around that particular level. As a technical indicator, a pivot price is similar to support and resistance in that the pivot level, if it's exceeded, the price is expected to continue in that direction or the price could reverse at a near level. So keys with pivoting, we're looking at continuation and rejection points. So what does a pivot tell you? A pivot means an important price level to a trader, like an inflection point where they expect price to either continue in the current direction or reverse the course. Popular pivots for traders. Some traders view prior high points and low points in the price as a pivot. Now a trader may view the 52 week high as a pivot point, and it's because if it moves above it, the trader anticipates the price to continue higher. But if it falls below the 52 week high, we may look to exit and play the reversal off of that pivot point. We could look at the 52 week low too. And it's also a note that the pivot can occur at any time frame. So what we're really looking for is time frame continuity. So important areas of pivots. A pivot can be an area that a trader views as important. These areas can be as weekly highs or lows, daily high or lows, swing high or low, or a technical level based off of TA. It's important to know that floor traders originally used pivot points to establish these important price levels. And now these levels with modern day technology are used by many traders and can be added via applications that are used for trading. When analyzing pivot points, you're going to use the stocks historical price then the pivot point is used to guide how the price may move other calculations will provide support and resistance levels around that particular pivot point once again pivot points can be calculated based on various time frames therefore providing information for day trading swing trading and long-term investors now this is the real important stuff so i need you to pay attention pivots and price action when the price is above a pivot point, it is considered bullish. When a price is below the pivot point, it's considered bearish. Levels above the pivot point are calculated and called R1, R2 with the R standing for resistance. Levels below pivot point are calculated and called S1, S2 with the S standing for support. If the price moves below the pivot point, it may continue to S1. If the price falls below S1, it may go to S2. The same concept applies to the R1 and R2 model. But how do we calculate these? Important note that a pivot does not require calculation. It is just an important price area for the trader to watch. However, pivot points do have a calculation and the calculation for today's pivot levels are based off the prior's day, high, low, and closing prices. The pivot is the high plus low plus the close divided by three. R1 is the pivot times two minus the low price. R2 is the pivot price plus the high and low. S1 is the pivot times two minus the high. S2 is the pivot minus the high minus the low. Confused? Don't worry, I got you. Let's use Tesla as an example. Here is the current chart of how Tesla closed on Friday. So here's the pivot based off of Friday for Tesla. We have the high price, the low price, and the close. Given the formula, high plus low 
plus close divided by three come out to 180.64. That is our pivot. Based off the calculations, R1 is pivot times two minus the low, and R2 is pivot plus the high minus the low. And we got 184 for R1, and we got 189 for R2. S1 is calculated using the pivot times two minus the high, and S2 is the pivot minus the high and the low, and we have S1 at 176 and S2 at 172. Plotting on a chart, it looks like this with pivot point, R1, R2, S1, S2. Now trading this, we would be looking for closes above or below the pivot on a five or 15 minute chart. And then looking for the price action to carry us to the R1, R2 or S1, S2, looking for the movements. Note, different time frames will give us different results based off of the calculations. Note that the auto chart feature helps with continuity. So we're gonna go ahead and go off of the one hour chart and we're gonna plot utilizing the pivot points that the application gives us. Going into the TA features, we're gonna go ahead and select pivot point and note the levels that it gives us on the one hour chart, okay? Basically, it's giving us close to the same results that we did with the calculations, just a little bit different. But I find that utilizing the one hour chart with the automated charting feature is one of the best ones when utilizing the pivot structure. Cycling through different time frames will give you different ideas of continuity. And basically we're just looking at levels. Remember, we're not trading off of these specifically. We're utilizing these as level four trades. Here's what the four hour chart would give you utilizing the same ticker. The day chart, utilizing the same ticker. And here's the one day, five minute chart. As you can see, utilizing the pivot points, going from levels to levels. But I want to highlight one aspect when utilizing pivot points. You still need sub chart confirmation. MACD, RSI, SMI, TTM squeeze. Something based off of your trading style that gives you three reasons why to push the buy. That's it, team. I hope you learned something. Don't forget our upcoming class. We're going to teach you how to, how to execute and trade spreads. Class is 27 November, 1 p.m. Central Standard Time, and every purchase receives the copy. Register today at traderswarroom.com slash upcoming classes. That's a wrap, guys. I want to invite you to come get some with Traders War Room. Join the team and come trade with me. You get all alerts, all live trading, all the algos, everything we have to offer. Truly something for everyone. So quit wasting that money that's not making money, and let's get it. Get out before you think twice. Let's have a toast. You bring the drinks and I'll bring ice. Defeat's nice in the Traders War Room. What you want to do in the Traders War Room? What you want to do?